Hi friends, so back with another review. This time uh, I'd be taking up uh, this beautiful turquoise pen. This is Monte Verde Prima. So uh, I had uh, received a feedback uh, last time that my reviews were pretty long and uh, that tends to um, actually uh, take the focus of the point. So I plan to make it uh, shorter this time, probably cut to half. So uh, won't be uh, discussing too much about things, but then just to the point. So Monte Verde is a company owned by Yafa and this group also owns um, um, other uh, other brands like uh, Hugo Boss and uh, the pen makers like Conklin and Schmidt. Um, this beautiful range uh, comes in uh, four colors and this particular one is uh, turquoise uh, blue swirl. Uh, this is a handmade acrylic uh, pen and uh, as they claim in their site this is European grade uh, acrylic I don't know what it means but then this is medium density acrylic and uh, decent to uh, decent weight and uh, pretty good to hold um, so this is slightly translucent you can see the uh, writing section shine through it um, in uh, bright sunlight this material tends to shimmer a bit And otherwise, uh, this uh, turquoise color is very appealing. Uh, coming to the cap, the Finio has a Monte Verde, Monte Verde logo, um, mountain peaks. Um, then there's the black and then you see the ring of the uh, clip. The clip is very, very, very stiff. But then this, this is very functional clip. Um, with just a slight effort, it fits into your soft fabric upper pocket. and with almost no effort it would fit into your trousers um, then you have a small black band and then this broad uh, lower uh, uh, ring at the lower part of the cap this says uh, Monte Verde USA and then Prima trademark um, then this opens up to reveal this uh, brilliant tapering writing section this is also made up of uh, resin and then a small uh, ring at the uh, upper part of the writing section and again a chrome plated uh, small uh, base at the lower part the nib is i think size 5 it's a steel nib but then it does have a bit of spring in it uh, you can see monte verde uh, branding on this and the peak here and then another peak slashing through the nib and then monte verde usa again the size of the nib is mentioned here so the threads are located here um, but they are they are very um, they, um, they are not very prominent and uh, they don't come into the grip at all um, the the writing section is pretty long so you can vary your grip right from the lower part up till um, even the upper part of the writing section so this pen is pretty good here at the barrel the barrel seems to taper again back to the back end a small ring here gives a pretty regal look to the whole form of the pen and then you have this small plastic uh, sorry a black colored uh, resin um, bottom this is not a piston filler this is a cartridge converter uh, and this is fixed and then you have a small hole at the bottom so that's that um, this opens up and then you see a, a cartridge uh, this converter and the converter has been threaded into the writing section you see so there are the threads and it's not a pop and type converter holds i think about one ml of ink acrylic is pretty good so that's about the form of the pen now coming to the writing part so first first i'll make a small comparison so here you have a current comparison it was to use to usb 580 and then Alami 2000. It's a pretty decent size pen. Doesn't need to be posted, although it does post pretty well. And as you can see, it posts pretty deep also. But in my hand, even without posting, tends to fit very well. So coming to the writing. This is 
मोंटी पर्डे प्राइमर दिस इज अ मीडियम स्टील नेप दिस इज बीन इंक विद कॉन पैकी इट्स अ ब्रिलियंट इंक स्मॉल राइट अप द यूजल this pen um, out of the box wasn't a very good writer the times were very close together at the lower part and then it had a few skips in between uh, whenever i used to write there were hard starts and um, so i tried to spring it up by pressing but at that didn't work so i opened up this nib unit can be unscrewed off i won't do it because it's all already um, inked and the converter is in place so um, then i had i had to work around a bit on this and then it started writing very well it's a medium um, it has a medium wetness i'll just come to that you see uh, earlier it was very dry so a medium wetness um, otherwise there is there is a very slight stubbish nature to this nib you see the horizontal strokes are slightly thinner there is a very slight stubbish quality i think that happened because i worked on the nib so it it made it a bit wider uh, but then that's okay it, it worked very well for me um so i've started using this visual analog scale for smoothness and wetness of the nib so if i place it from 0 to 100 i would place this as a on the upper part of uh, medium wetness this is my pleasant zone i really like pens which fall into this and this is somewhere around here um if i have to make a visual analog scale of smoothness it's very smooth there's a very slight hint of feedback this is my pleasure zone and i like a bit of feedback and i like like it being smooth as well it depends it depends and this falls right into this so i really loved writing with it and the weight of the pen being medium um even the girth of the pen is good the nib size is uh, pretty big so i i really loved writing with this pen so a good addition i love the blue color and uh, there are also a few more with me you see that there is a very good depth to this acrylic also really love this so in my opinion it's a thumbs up thank you so see you next time